Hi there guys, Phil from statisticsmentor.com and continue on with my series of inter on functional form here I want to interpret the coefficients of a log linear model a log linear model is where you have your dependent variable which is continuous and is logged and your explanatory variable is kept in the original units Okay, so how we do it is we as you see here in the command window, enter coefficient, this coefficient I'm interested in. Now this coefficient here, I'm going to say it the way that most textbooks teach it and then I'll tell you someone else. Okay, most textbooks will say this at the introductory level. If tenure goes up by one unit, let's forget units, uh, years and stuff like that, if tenure goes up by one unit, earnings, well actually, let's do it in three ways. Let's do it in the kind of um, mechanical way. You'd say this, your one unit increase in tenure leads to an increase in log earnings by 0.022 units. Okay, say it again, one unit increase in tenure leads to an increase in log earnings by 0.22 units. Now, if you say that to someone, they're not going to understand you because, you know, what the heck is a log? All right. So the other way you can do it is like this. For a one unit increase in tenure, earnings increases by this number times 100%. So in other words, two point, or about 2.3%. In other words, when you've got a log lin model, the interpretation of the coefficient is that if x goes up by one unit, the y will go up or down, depending on the sign, by a hundred times this figure, percent. So that's why I said roughly, well exactly, it's 2.289 percent. But we could just round it up. Alright, so that's the typical way. I've just given you the second way. But this second way is only works for small values of the coefficient. The exact way, the third way, I'm going to give you the exact way, should be that you should say this, that if tenure increases by one unit, earnings will, will change by a factor of the exponential to this. Let me demonstrate. Let's get a hold of the calculator. All right, you can see this. I take the exponential of the coefficient point, roughly about 0.022, and I get this. So in other words, if tenure goes up by one unit, earnings will increase by a factor of 1.022. Saying that it increased by a factor of 1.22 the same as it increases by 2.2%. Because to convert a factor into a percentage change, you take this number here, uh, do it, you subtract 1, don't you, and you multiply by 100. That turns into a percent, so hence that's a percent. Okay. Notice then this 2.2% is this virtually the same as the value if we just time this by percent, and that is because this the second method where you just times this figure by 100% only holds when the coefficient is a small sign. Suppose this comes out to be, this was actually not 0.022 but 0.5, you would say, using the second method, as I told you in the textbooks, that one unit increase in tenure will lead to an increase in earnings by uh, 5%. Uh, how on? Uh, if that was 0.5, yeah, 50%, sorry, 50% if this is not 0.5, 50% holding everything else fixed. But the actual figure is this, which is about 65%, so that's about 15% difference. So if you've been taught the second way, where you simply, for a log lin model, you just multiply the coefficient by 100 and, and, and turn that into percentage, then okay, but be aware it's not an exact answer. Why you can kind of usually get away with it is these coefficients, you know, you're not going to talk about massive percentage changes like 260 odd percent, so these figures will tend to be kind of small and so approximately if you just say 100 times this percent should be about fine but just notice this so you might want to do this as well if you want to be smart okay so that's an uh, interpretation of 
log Lin. I promise that the others are much easier.